the career in music. What does that really mean? Well, I'll tell you. I'll tell you the story of a gig. This is what it means to do a gig. The alarm goes off. It's crazy o'clock in the morning. Your head feels like a porcelain fish bowl filled with eels. You get up, throw your butt in the shower. You've got 15 minutes to get out the door. It's 90 degrees in the shade already. You hustle down to the van, you get in the van, dead traffic, just the worst, right? Total rush hour, you know, a slog through like, like a legless dog rolling uphill covered in molasses. You finally make it to the rehearsal space. You have to hump out all the gear. Everything is just weighs a million pounds. You bash in your knuckles and, you know, scrapes and cracks and bruises, uh, hoisting everything out. out and load it all, squeeze it all in the van until, you know, you're driving down the road, you can't see past your nose. You get to the gig. There's no parking. You know, circle forever. Somebody's got to watch the truck so nobody runs off and rips off everything. Hump all the gear out of the, tr out of the van, into the club, up a horrible wrought iron circular staircase, you know, to, you know, postage stamp size little room. Uh, you know, with a, you know, if it's a good gig, uh, you know, uh, you won't outnumber the audience, all right? So uh, you get everything up there and get everything set up and, you know, it's back-breaking work and doing a sound check and the sound man is surly and uncooperative and just everything is, you know, fraught with heavy vibes and you've Finally get everything all shoved together. Then you have to shove everything to the back and another band comes on and puts all their crap in front of yours and da, 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 da. So after all this, then you finally, finally get to uh, the point where it's time to go on stage and you know, you're, you're just retching from nerves and you, you finally get out there and do it. And for one hour, maybe, this white hot light of creation comes down and flows into your brain and infects every corpuscle of your being and you feel like 50,000 volts of electricity are going through your body and you cease to be your your mind your 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 identity itself almost ceases to be and you're listening as much as you are playing you're 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 hearing yourself play but almost as a third person a state of no mind it's a very zen state where it's it's this active flow that's that's just coming from your mind and out the ends of your fingers and it's just pouring out of you like lava and out of like to like molten lead onto the stage and uh and it's just this glorious this is glorious electrocuting uh, feeling it, it, um, well you get the idea and then tear it all down twice as fast as you <laughs> put it all together hoist everything back down the wrought iron staircase and back out to the truck and you know push everything into the, into the truck and then, you know they go drive 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 back to the back to the rehearsal storage space unload everything out again and shove it all back and make sure everything is locked up put everything away it's you know three o'clock in the morning every particle of you just aches and go out to an all-night sushi restaurant and eat like conquerors and go home at five in the morning and collapse and die and then wake up the next day at two in the afternoon and go i would do that all over again in a heartbeat no questions no questions asked that's uh that that's what it's like doing a gig